And welcome back to our blind first playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And we are getting ready to go finish up things on Korriban here. We have all the prestige we need. We've had an, uh, a well, uh, a good night's rest. And uh, I just want to check in with these You've guys. Got something on your mind, do you? Do you have anything to, to say before we go on? Not particularly. I'll ask you some other time. We want to ask him about the war. Uh, no time like the present. Can we finally persuade him? I suppose you're going to nag me until I cough it up, aren't you? Nothing is private anymore, it looks like. Ugh, there's no escaping it, I guess. So be it. My wife's name was Nayama. She was the Yukatis enforcer who shot me out of the sky, if you remember. Okay, what does your wife have to do with the war? Um, no, I don't remember. I, I kind of do. Are you going senile? I didn't ask about your wife, old man. More old man stuff. Uh, what does your wife have to do with it? My wife had plenty to do with the war. Upon meeting her, I knew right away that she was strong in the Force. That's why she was able to shoot me down. Nayama was a marvel of a woman. Fiery, determined, smart. She dragged me to the capital and foiled three of my attempts to escape prison. Oh, and that body. Uh, the war. Back to the war. Well, yes, that. <clears throat> Needless to say, I eventually won her over. That was after I kidnapped her upon being broken out of the Yukata's prison, mind you. But, uh... That's another story entirely. At any rate, I wanted to train her in the Jedi way. The Council refused my request, naturally. I was still a Padawan at the time. I was an experienced Padawan, surely, but not yet ready to be a full Jedi, and certainly not ready to train another, especially not one so old as my wife. Old wife. So you disobeyed the Council like I did. You disobeyed the Jedi Council, so you're saying you're an idiot. And what did, uh, what did she think of all this? Nayama was intrigued by the idea of becoming a Jedi. She liked the idea of power too much, perhaps, but I certainly didn't see that at the time. I believed in her and trained her in secret. I ignored her willful nature. I loved her too much to see fault in her. And she loved me too. I know she did. At the time, our love was a shared bliss. Better than anything I had known before or since. So what happened? Exar Kun is what happened. Nayama was inspired by Exar's promises of a new golden age. She wanted to join him. She came to me, pleading with me to throw aside what she called the decrepit trappings of the Jedi, to join her in Exar's war. So she had fallen to the dark side. So you killed her, of course. What did you do? I'm just, what did you do? I pleaded with her to reconsider, to think about all that she was throwing away, to think about what she would become. She would have none of it. Finally, in frustration, she attacked me. She drew her lightsaber and attempted to strike me down. It was a scene being repeated everywhere throughout the galaxy. Pupil against master. In my case, it was a long and terrible battle, but I defeated her. You killed her? No, no. I had her at my mercy. Disarmed and defenseless, she looked up at me and she knew. She knew I couldn't do it. So what happened? Right, sounds familiar. Seems like the Jedi don't like killing their helpless enemies. I don't think I could have either, but she was a Sith then, right? You were a fool. Um, seems like Jedi don't like killing their helpless enemies. I should have. Sometimes I convince myself otherwise, but it's no use. She had fallen to the dark side when she raised her saber against me, and I let her go. To my shame, she went on to kill many Jedi during the war, until she herself was slain in the final battle. I grieved for her death, inevitable as it was, even as the Jedi Council put me on trial for my actions once the war was over. They put you on trial, hmm? I had trained Nayama against their wishes. I had failed to kill her when I had the chance, and she went on to kill others. Not to mention that I had remained a Padawan throughout the war. A formality, perhaps, but with the trial, it had to be decided if I was worthy to become a Jedi at all. It was a travesty, of course. I told you that even the Jedi were capable of great injustices, didn't I? Hell yeah. I think we, we agree. The Jedi are always fair and merciful. They gave me a second chance. I agree with you. They destroyed my mind, after all. So that's the source of this bitterness? They found you guilty? So you think you didn't deserve to be punished, or I can't believe they tried you for that. Um, I agree with you, they destroyed my mind. No, so that's the source of all this bitterness, they found you guilty, or... So you think... I'm gonna say I can't believe they 
tried you for that. But I deserve to be tried. They found oh. me innocent. Even though I deserved every punishment and more, they let me go. Mitigating circumstances, they said. I deserved compassion, they Compassion. Said. They said I had learned wisdom the hard way. For all I had done during the war, they wished to raise me to full Jedi status at long last. That, that was when the Jedi left me. That was when they failed me. Uh, no, you're wrong. You deserved compassion. You should have been happy you got off. I don't understand. I'm gonna say you're wrong. You deserve compassion. For my pride? For my cowardice? Humanity? Which do you think is the act more befitting the Jedi? They may have been able to forgive me. I could never forgive myself. Well, that's the problem. And you still believe love is worth the risk? I... yes. I do, I suppose. Does that surprise you? Uh, nope, I like it. It is all so long ago. Lost in the winds, I suppose. Nobody cares what an old man believes anymore, do they? Let's continue on with the task at hand. I would prefer to think of the present today. I did not realize we, we had all that coming. I just wanted to talk to these guys before we go do the Uthar thing here. Um, let's check our journal and then let's talk to Jahani too, see what she has to say. You successfully convinced Jolie to talk about the Sith War, how his wife turned to the dark side, and how he ultimately abandoned the Order for not holding him as responsible for her actions as he held himself. You might be able to ask him more about his past a little later once you have gained more experience. Oh, our level up helps with it, huh? Yes. Jahani. What is it? Is something wrong? I... I have been oh, no. bothered by oh, something no. of late. What is it? Don't lay all your problems on me. Uh, you sure someone else can't help? What is it? I never told you where I came from, did I? Where I grew up as a child? I suppose I was trying to deny what I was feeling. Uh, are you hitting on me? No. What? I have been wrestling with my feelings inside. Trying to come to terms with it. But I find I cannot. I must have someone to blame. Someone to blame for the destruction of my homeworld. Someone who is responsible for the death of everyone I have ever known except those on Dantooine. You mean, what are you saying, Jan? What are you saying? Taris. It was Taris that the Sith destroyed to try to kill you and your precious Bastila. Taris, my Aww. homeworld. I'm sorry, I did not know. Uh, Bastila is critical to defeating the Sith. Sometimes you need to make some sacrifices. I thought you hated your homeworld. Um, I'm sorry, Jahani, I didn't know. If it were not for you and Bastila, the Sith would have never had reason to destroy that world. It was your fault for being there, and your fault for rescuing Bastila. No. Without your intervention, the Sith would have had no cause to lay waste to my childhood. I, but we... Um, I'm gonna go we? Just let me vent my anger. I need someone to blame. Something. Anything. I hated that world. Yet everything I learned as a child, I learned there. It is as much a part of me as the air I breathe. I have this ache inside me, where all my childhood memories lay, and I find your face there with them. If it was not for you, that world would still exist. I'm sorry, Jahani, there was no way to prevent it. Calm yourself, remember the Jedi Code. I have no excuse, I did what I needed to. Um. Calm yourself, remember the Jedi Code. Do we want to try to calm her down? I'm going to say I have no excuse. I know. I suppose I realized that. But it is so hard to lose your entire past. You would not understand. Ah, uh, yeah, right. Uh, how we're, our memories are wiped and stuff. You're right, I don't. Um, it'll be alright. No, you're gonna say, I'm, you're right, I don't. I suppose that is to be expected. Everything will turn out for the best, as long as we remain focused on our task. I am sorry. I will try not to distract you in the future with my trivial experiences. We should stop for now. Oh, she seems to be turning a little dark there. Let's look at her character for a minute. Oh, she's way up on the light still. Jolie is more centered and more dark than her. <laughs> okay, well, uh, let's go have a convo. Oh, and uh, Uthara, should we talk to her one more time? What are you doing here? Go back to Uthar and tell him you are ready to take your final test. Our moment is at hand. Go. Love it. Yes, our moment is at hand. 
am I missing? Oh, this is back. It's so confusing. Oh, wait, that's back to his place. It's so confusing. Hold on. Straight down this way, okay. <laughs> Out of my way, guard. Gall. Uh, yeah, this place is a little nuts. Let's go. Let's see how it goes down. And do we have to kill all these Sith on the way back through? Like, So then, I take it you are ready to travel to the tomb of Nagasado. Your final test should not be delayed. I guess we could have maybe gone and played with the crystals on our uh, our sword, but truthfully, I'm okay with that for a minute. Um, what is this final test? What is the tomb of Naga Shadow? It is a tomb that belonged to an ancient Sith Lord, the greatest of Korriban Sith Lords, in fact. It is there that your test is performed. And what is the final test? I will tell you the details when we are there, young one. You will, however, fight for your life. That is why I suggest you be in sufficient health. Oh, we're, we're good to go. I'm ready. Then Let's we do go it. now. And oh, we're by ourselves. I forgot. We leave our friends just sitting there. A day passes in preparation. Uthar then takes you and Uthara to the Sith tomb. Your companions are not permitted to join you. Right, we're locked in. So. Very well. We are now ready for your final test, young Sith. You have earned the right to see if you shall become one of us. Indeed you have. I dislike your tone, Euthura. <laughs> what are you up to now? Nothing, of course, my master. I was merely agreeing with you. Should we not get on with the test? Yes. Yes, of course. We are in the sacred tomb of Nagasado, young one. The one discovered by Darth Malak and Darth Rhythm years ago. You are to follow in their footsteps and reach the ancient star map that lies deep within. There you will find a lightsaber, amongst other things. The lightsaber is for you, your initiation present. Return to us once you have it. For you, the test does not end there. Be very cautious here. This tomb is like the others in this valley, and many of its old defenses remain active. Do you understand what I have told you? Are you ready to begin? Uh, I don't understand. Why not just give me the saber? Can you tell me anything about what I will face? Can I leave the tomb? Find the star map, return with the lightsaber. I understand. Good. Euthura and I will await your return. I wonder if Euthura is even going to be alive when we get back here. Let's see here. The way of the Sith, Master Uthar and Euthura Ban have brought you to the tomb of Nagasado. And there is no way out of the tomb until your test is complete. You will have to find the star map deep within the tomb. When you find it, you will also locate a ceremonial lightsaber. Return to Master Uthar with it. Let's go. What else we need? I don't know we need anything. What do we got? A, what's a raid? Let's, uh... Let's put it to stasis field. And attack it. I'm gonna under... Oh, yeah, I don't know. Let's, uh... Do this. I don't know that we need the shield... And flurry. Again. Yep. That's fine. Let's hit it. Let's see here. What are we on? Let's do another stasis field. Stasis field just for all of them, right? That's awesome. I love stasis field. I'm on the wrong guy. Cancel, cancel. What? Very good. Let's do it. Who wants some? Who wants some? Skeletal human remains. And a data pad. We love our data pads. This data pad appears to be the journal of a Sith who quite obviously did not make it past this portion of his final test. Most of the journal consists of the Sith's account of gaining enough prestige with Master Uthar to take this test. Only, the final entry appears to concern the test itself. It seems I need to get across the pool of acid in the central chamber if I am to complete my test here, but that is not going to be easy. The runes name one obelisk the Pillar of Fire, while the other is the Pillar of Ice. I can only assume that one of the pillars leads to a way to remove the acid pool. Fire or ice? Wouldn't fire create toxic fumes? 
I'm not sure. Maybe freezing the pool would be safer. Well, I'll worry about that once I bypass the Tarantetic Beasts. Oh no, if I can. I suppose it's now or never. Oh geez, really? Hold on, how much of this? Let's check our map here. We have multiple ways to go here. Um, I suppose this is as good as any other, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. What is this? Oh, Tarantetic Beasts. Um, you know what? I th think... I can't remember... What are they doing to us, though? Can we put them to sleep? I'm gonna try. Nope. Uh, let's go with... Can we do a poison grenade? Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. This might not be good, guys. We'll see here. Um, Can we... Do we have a sticky frag, a concussion? Let's try a concussion right on this guy. And then let's come over to him. Let's flurry. I can't be standing there. Let's... Can we do master speed? Do I even have to kill them? That's the real question, too. Can I get out a door here? There is no door until I kill them, I think. Oh, the lever. I can't pull the lever. I get it, I get it. Okay, so... I don't have healing. So we have to use one of these. Now... They're immune. I knew it, I knew it. Wait! If they're immune, why did it even do anything? That's okay. Um, thermal detonator. And hit it. Let's go. We gotta we gotta get in on this here. Hold on. Hit it. Get one and then do another and then Um Speed. Then do it yeah, let's go through that. Get out of here, dude. I'm getting just toasted here. I can't do anything to him. Okay, let's, um... What, what would I do to him? Plasma, ion, I don't have any sticky cryo? Maybe. I just... Did I just cry on myself, though? That's okay. We've been killed. Okay, well, let's see. What... How are we going to do this? Let's cryo them and then just come in and mess them up that way. Let's get up here. Okay, now, can we... Use one of these and then I I maybe I should have cryo banned them both. I probably didn't realize I had time to do it. I'm dead. Okay, let's try that again. Same situation, I'll cryo ban them both. Oh my god, he got us. Okay. Man, we'll try it again. I'm just throwing a thermal detonator at each of them this time. Now you, dude, why don't we just... Um... Come right here, and then attack him. Just hit him. Oh my god, come on! That's not what I want. Uh, attack this guy. I'm, I'm thinking... 
We could get him where we can just like pin him where it's only one against one. But no, that's not going to work either. They keep moving around. There's got to be a strategy here. I'm. Can we poison them? I didn't even realize there was a poisoning here. We're dead. Wow, I, I don't understand how to get past this. Okay. Force wave is still hurting him. And I only tried triggering one uh, Dark Souls style. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was thinking that... Are they just weak to it? It claims they're immune. Either way, I'm using my new favorite uh, thing. I think we can just waste him here. Oh my god. Oh, I, I'm, I played too many times trying to kill him not to cheese this if it's possible. Look at that. I was making it so much harder. Oh, we just got poisoned or no? The death. All right, well, I'm going to stand here and just let my force power come back and then we'll go kill that other one. Okay, we are ready to rock. Let's uh, give ourselves a little something something. I'm going to put some speed on, actually. Don't mind. Let's get to this guy. Uh, let's just start using wave. Hit him. Oh, yeah, that's so good. So good, man. Let's see if we can hit him and speed this up a little bit. Kind of do every other one. We got him. We got him. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Get away. Get away from the poison. So on the next... Oh, let's see here. Oh, Crystal Solari and Shayla's journal. We'll have to check both of those out. The next room, I think we want to use cold. Um, let's check Shayla's journal. This data pad is the personal journal of the Jedi Shayla Nur. Her last entry is particularly compelling. I have tracked the Tarantetic that ambushed us in the Shirak caves to this tomb. But even as I stand at the entrance, I know this is wrong. Dark thoughts fill my mind, hatred and vengeance. I cannot stop myself from blaming Goon Han for Duran's death. If he had not abandoned us, my love would surely have survived the Tarantetic's first attack. But my hatred of Goon Han pales beside my burning desire for revenge. My blood boils to destroy the creature that ended Duran's life, no matter what the cost. I know such thoughts are those of the dark side, but I cannot help them. Even the second set of tracks outside the cave cannot dissuade me. Oh, no. From my task. One Tarantetic, two, a thousand. It makes no difference to me now. The only image I see is that of Duran's, or Duran's broken body, and only blood can cleanse it from my mind. I hope my master will forgive me for what I am about to do. Oh, well, and we found her partner, too, so that completes the story, I believe. What's this? Okay. Nothing. Just a little stuff. All right, well, there was a lever there. What happened to the lever? The lever. Oh. Oh, I just got poisoned. Screw you, poison. Damn it. Silly damn thing. And I guess we gotta use a regular med pack then. The next door. The door is locked and will not open at the moment. Oh, there it is. I thought it was closer to it. I just wasn't seeing it.
Okay, now what? Pillar of Fire. And Pillar of Ice. I'm gonna go Pillar of Ice. Special Cold Grenade. Okay, Pillar of Fire. Special Fire Grenade. Is that all there is to this room? And then we have to go a different way? So this whole place is about trying to solve this one puzzle. Oh, okay. We've been there, right, right. Well, let's continue on, man. Well, I'm glad I uh I tried using force powers again. I was just like, I'm gonna I'm gonna try. It said immune, but like he was getting dazed before. I'm just sometimes you just kinda miss stuff, right? Now, what does this look like on the map? This is the f hold on. That's to the valley. That's where we... Oh, yeah, this is right. It's confusing to me. Now, what are we going to find this way? What are these things? What are these lights? Why are we here? Now what? Is it just a light puzzle? Computer terminal? Skeletal remains. There we go. Cardio package. Uh, Zach, Zabrak... Blaster pistol and a crystal nest next door. There are three pillars that have electronic readouts showing the energy levels of four systems. The controls show that these systems can be transferred to other pillars. Okay, there's green, right. Red. Caution, some of the systems are very delicate and improper improper transfer of power can cause an electrical overload. In order to unseal the chamber, all of the following four systems must be transferred to the right pillar. Top system may be transferred to any pillar safely without fear of overload. Mid upper system, this system causes an overload if transferred to a pillar with an active top system. Oh my god. Mid-lower system. This system may only be tra safely transferred to another pillar that either has no systems or only the base system active. Base system. Is that the blue? This large system may only be transferred to a blank pillar with no systems active on it, or it will cause an overload. Remember, a system may not be transferred to another pillar if it is only active system on that pillar or it is the last one listed the current system displays on the pillars read this is insane guys active pillar systems left pillar base system mid lower system mid upper system top system active systems middle pillar no systems no systems no systems all right here we go move a system from the left pillar press the reset stop adjusting the controls see how the pillars work again Okay, move a system from the left pillar. To which pillar do you wish to transfer power for the top system? I'm going to say the middle. It's going to try. But I can't go anywhere else. You power transfer. This is so insane. Oh, I want... Maybe I want... Let's move a system from the left again. Can I move it to the... I was thinking we could stack them differently. I want to move to the middle pillar. There's a flash of electricity and warning lights as the system overload and reset. Okay, you know what? I'm going to run through this a whole bunch of different ways. And when I get the final thing, I'll try to leave it on camera and we'll see how this works. Okay, I think we're getting close here. Let's see. So I got that one cleared out. I'm going to move the blue over to the middle and then move the red back. We got to clear off the right one so we can get the blue into that. This is going to be a little tricky. I'm still going to keep playing around. Oh, I see. I think I'm going to move the red to the left and then move those two in to the other one. Hmm. Well, ah, oh, damn it. Oh no! <laughs> I 
And first time I had it, and then I just hit the wrong button. I think I understand. We're gonna keep working on this. Oh, we're getting there. I think, and then we go from the left pillar to the middle. This is, I mean, I remember this in, uh, I think, Dragon Age Inquisition. I forget which, the tower puzzle or something. So we've got now blue, if we can get it from the left pillar. Yes, 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 to the right pillar. Now we just have to get these off. So I think we go middle. You know, for a minute, though, how do we, how, hmm. Middle to, let's go to the right. the right pillar because we need to get um, yellow ready to go so we can clear up blue then we can put red back then we can pull yellow over so let's go middle pillar to the left red to the left so right to the left from the right this, this is a fun little puzzle isn't it you guys to the left pillar I think we finally got this though. Oh my gosh. Well, it was fun to die at least once so we saw that the, the rocks came on us. Now, just don't screw it up from the middle. What do I want to go? I want to go to the right. And then left to the middle. I'm just talking us through this because I, I cut out most of the time I was spent fiddling around. Um, just to make you understand, I, I, I get it. I'm not cheating. <laughs> left to the middle. Either way wouldn't have screwed me up, I would just waste a turn. So left to the right now. And middle to the right. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what's up. The power has been successfully transferred to the right hand pillar. The room has been unsealed. Shoot. What's through the door? Oh, yeah, lovely. Uh, let's see here. Can we force wave him? Oh, yeah, that, that seemed to work. We're just going to do what we do. You know what I mean? I'm sure the puzzle was the hard part of this. Oh, just get up here, dude. Oh, it's a Hulk Hulak raid. I, I'm just going to spam force wave as much as I can for the rest of the game. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, if it works and it keeps me from having to get in there and be dodging too. Oh, what the hell was that? Something just blew me up. No, it's just my waves in my face. Monument to Naga Sato. Uh, Iridu Strength Amplifier, Sith Assault Gun, and Sinagarin Carbine. Sure. And I apologize, by the way, there's so much to read. Sometimes I'll be like, oh, data pad, and then I kind of miss that. I'm, I'm sure I've forgotten one. I'll make sure I scroll through everything at some point here. But um, Monument to Naga Sh Sado. Naga Sado's Poison Blade. Well, that might have helped us against the Tarantetics. Was it from one side to the other? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. We got it, though. Okay, well, I think we're through. We're into the middle. We have to go through some acid stuff. We're going to throw a uh, a frost grenade or something. Because fire will make it, like, fumes or vapors kill us. That's, or so I believe. Is that this way now? Hold on. Uh, looks to be. Yes. Okay, acid pool. So... We don't... Do we use? What's use? Use. A dangerous looking pool of acid has flooded the room. Launch the special fire. Uh, launch the special cold. Look, ignore it. It's cold. The pool freezes over. It is now a walkable. We can read. As I always say, reading uh, is what it's all about, everyone. Reading and lore. They go hand in hand. Not always. You can get some lore without reading, but... Okay, well, I did not detect that. Thank you. You know what? You never know what we're going to run into. So we'll do that. I'm glad I uh, haven't been using med packs. 
Oh, we made it. That's it. Cool. The real fight's coming, though, right? Plural. Or are we leaving Uthara in charge? How's this going down? So, we got it. Uh, 250 XP journal entry added. Is that all of it? Can we see it yet? I love it. Let's see our journal entry. A quest for the Starforge. You've discovered the last of the star maps and now have the hyperspace coordinates that will lead you to the Starforge in a final confrontation with Malak. You only hope you aren't too late for Bastila's sake and the sake of the entire galaxy. Indeed, Sith statue? Sith a lightsaber. That's what we actually needed, huh? The tomb door shut on us. Is Sith lightsaber, though, does it have any story? The lightsaber is quite intricate in its design, the hilt covered in delicate runes and inlaid with black markings. No doubt the purpose of the weapon is primarily ceremonial, though it certainly seems to perform as a lightsaber should. 2 to 16 looks like a normal lightsaber. Cool. All right. Oh, we're here. It's on. So, you return to us with the lightsaber in hand, as I knew you would. The Force has served you well. You took a great risk in acquiring the artifact. You used your mind and your power. No peaceful meditation, no pacifism. Sometimes you must fight in order to achieve. This gives you your passion. This makes you stronger. This is what makes you superior. That is the lesson we teach with that part of the final test. Do you understand? Uh, the Sith are not the only ones who fight and take risks. Are you saying a Jedi couldn't have gotten a late lightsaber? <laughs> I wouldn't say I exerted myself getting this. Uh, I don't believe you. I don't feel superior to anyone. I think I understand. I'm going to say, are you saying a Jedi couldn't have gotten this lightsaber? When a Jedi acts, it is with skill, true. But the Jedi teach you that your passions are counterproductive. That strength is only found in peace. Did you not feel a moment of excitement in the tomb? Did your passions not flow and make you feel stronger and more alive? What purpose would be served by restricting yourself from such? I would say only the purpose of the Jedi. Through this, they would control you and restrict your potential. You know, interestingly, we don't have we have everything we need right now. I mean, I'm just ready to get off of this planet, right? The Sith are not the only ones who fight and take risks. I wouldn't say I exerted myself getting this. I don't believe you. I don't feel superior. I'm going to say the Sith aren't the only one who fight and take risks. True, but most would say they fight only when they must, or not at all. We are the ones who know that struggle is what makes us superior. Okay, well, let's see here. Um, I don't believe you. I don't feel superior to anyone. I wouldn't say I exerted myself, but we did a little bit. Uh, let's see here. How do we do this? I'm just going to... I wouldn't say I ex exerted... I don't believe you. I don't feel superior to if anyone. If you came to the Academy, you must have felt the stirrings within you that cry out for the freedom of the dark side, that cry out for release. I can only show you the path that will lead to power and superiority. You have followed it this far. You must decide if you are capable of continuing. And if I'm not, the Sith are not the only ones. Are you saying a Jedi again? Um, and if I'm not? This is where your path ends, young one. There is no turning back once you have embarked on it. Okay. Um, how do we get out of here? I think I understand. Good. The last part of your test will now commence. Here, you will learn the lesson of competition. All life must compete in order to flourish. Such is the natural way of the universe. To stand still is to know death. One must always be moving forward. So it is the same amongst the Sith. Compete or die. Mercy is irrelevant, so it behooves you in this final test to strike down one you are familiar with for no other reason than to prove you are superior oh, and without mercy. Cool. Normally, this would be against another student. You, however, get a special treat. You will fight Euthora here, my own apprentice. What? So this is what you had planned all along? You wish me killed? Indeed. You have become too ambitious, Euthora. It is time for you to die and someone more talented take your place. No, it is time for you to die, Master. My pupil stands with me. Oh, is this true, young one? You wish to join Euthura in her foolish scheme? 
I wish um, that we could just leave. Sorry, Uthar, I'm with you. Uthar, I'm with you, Thara, on this one. I'm with you, Master Uthar. Uh, I'm tired of playing along with you Sith scum. You both die. You're both mistaken. I choose me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go crazy. I'm going to say I'm tired of playing along with both of you. You are indeed a fool if you think to oppose us both, young one. <laughs> to think that I actually hoped you I don't want to lie and be... To me. This makes just no do sense. It. You will never become a Sith if you turn on us both. What could you hope to accomplish? I used you both to complete my mission. I could never become an evil Sith. I came for the star map. My mission is to defeat Malak as well as you, Sith. I did what I had to to wipe your evil kind. I'm going to say I would never have be become an evil Sith. I came for the star map. Betrayed. He is a spy. Do not fret, my dear. All will be as it was quickly enough. We'll see. You will pay we'll for see. this fool. We will destroy you. So what I want, first of all, I would say is... Um, force immunity. And then a little force wave, and let's see how that goes. Light side points gained, because I didn't I didn't take either side or get all deceptive. Maybe that was it. Can we do another one? Oh guys. Come on. Why am I not do I not have force immunity? Let's do a hyper stimulant. And um maybe already a healer. Oh my god. Guys. Let's see here. What can I do? What can I do? Stasis field? Uh heal. And then horse wave. Oh my god, I'm like I'm trying. I'm trying here. I think we just keep doing it. Like I told you, if we can spam it, we do it. They're going to resist sometimes and others they're not. Let's go get them. Oh, she's almost toast. Actually cancel all that. One more. And. Go get him, go get him, go get him. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> Let's uh, take the opportunity and then... And they hit him. Hit him. Come on, dude. We're getting messed up. I'm going to do another one if we can survive, because he can get us in like one hit here. Damn it, guys. Come on, go, go. Oh, got it, got it, got it. That was perfect. That was awesome. I loved that. We got him. Got him good. Let's check those remains out. 1500 credits, poison grenade. 3,000 credits, Sinigar Warsuit, Security Domination Interface. Sinigar Warsuit. Oh my gosh. Um, I say we do waste another pack because I don't know what I'm going to run into here. Let's... Oh, yeah, I'm not even going to mess around. Okay, and I have, what, 29 left? We'll call it there. All right, let's get out of this. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Who's going to be waiting for us? Who's going to say something? Which way are we going? Is it straight out? 
Uh, yep, straight out. Okay, well, we have the star map. They're dead. But we have to get our way through uh, the Sith Academy here. And we don't... Is the rest of our party with us now? Will they show up? Do we have to be solo yet? What's going on here? Let's see here. Um, party selection. That function is not available. Function not available. Okay, well, obviously they're not fighting us yet, so let's just head back. See how this all goes down. Do we dissolve the academy? Interesting. Well, if nobody attacks us and nothing interesting happens between here and there, we'll just uh, cut. Okay, here we go. Looks like some people are waiting for us. You there. How is it that you're leaving Nagasadao's tomb by yourself? You went in for your final test, didn't you? Where is Master Uthar? Uh, Master Uthar is dead. I killed him. Persuade, I am Revan. I have killed the Master. You must bow down before me. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, do I even have to persuade? I don't want them to bow down. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just gonna say, uh, he's dead. I killed him. What? You? But you aren't even a Sith yet. Surely you jest. I'm more powerful. I'm not a Sith at all, actually. Um, now move aside. I can kill you just as easily. Not a Sith? I have killed the Master, and now the Academy is my mine. Persuade, did I say dead? He's, uh, sick. You should check on him. I'm gonna say I'm not a Sith at all, actually. Now move aside. It's, it's a spy! Quick, to arms! But if the spy was able to kill Master Uther... Don't be such a coward! Kill the traitor! Do it now! Losers. Let's see, why don't we just, uh... What are we... You know what time it is. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right, where's our boys? We have to fight our way through here? Come on now, come on. Oh yeah? But did we get all our people back? We did, so... Um... We have to kill everyone because I decided to do it this way, huh? Okay, well... Let's, um... Let's get it on. I don't think... They can mess us up too bad. I mean, they, there's a lot of crap here. Oh, come on. I'm hitting the wrong guy. I'm trying to pull this thing. <sighs> sure. Oh, my God, guys. Sure. Oh. I don't think there's an issue here. I'm just going to keep doing it, you know? That's the teacher, huh? Yep. Toast. Let's just cut them all down. A party member was killed. Oh. Well, now you're back, dude. Your wish? What? What is it? Uh, why don't we all just heal up here? Where is what? he? Yes. How was a party member killed? Is he not back? I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, what do sure. they mean he's killed? It's not actually dead. Um... This isn't making any sense to me. Okay, well, let's just keep going. Where are we actually? Oh, is he up here? Why is there... Why is he up here? Is he dead? Is there something happening? Uh, Sith student. Let's just go, guys. Oh my god! What the hell? Do 
Jahani, heal us up. That's so crazy. Oh my god, where are we at? Cancel, heal, heal. And uh, uh, you just keep doing your thing. Yes. Just Um, let's get these guys. Take out that whole group. Let's just... What the hell happened to Joe Lee? Or is he gonna wake up? He doesn't look like he's waking up. Oh, he's waking up. Oh my god. <laughs> he was just separated from us. I was freaking out, you guys. Okay, well, why don't you heal us up? And then we're going to let our horse powers come back a little bit as we get ready to go through this place. Good enough. What is it? Probably overdid it. Where are we at now? Um, we could just go through this whole place. Are there all types of people we want to kill and do? No, 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 no. That is to the valley, so the way out... Is it right here? Yes. What kind of remains are we getting here? Cryo grenade? Sure. What? What? Man, intense. Oh, yeah. Well, let's just... We'll just take care of that real quick. Anyone else? Man, we have just taken care of this place. Okay. Well, let's get back to the, uh, the Evan Hawk. Can we actually... Can we just go there? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, we are at the Ebonhawk. Now, before we jump on there, uh, maybe we go to the store and buy some stuff, because uh, I used quite a few med packs. I also want to go upgrade our swords, and then we're heading for the endgame, and we're going to do it in the next episode.